Greetings from Panama, Ota Nueve here. I have been on a mission, a mission, a mission. And while Paul was out running, I've been doing some fun stuff. I've been up this ladder picking some plantains. We have a few that were pretty big and I have been up there. So I'll show you what I do. So I just go up the ladder and I use these pruners to get one off. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get just one. I don't wanna pick the whole bunch because some are smaller. So I'm just cutting the larger ones up top. And I'm only going up one more level. So here I am, I'm up here, and I'm trying to decide what's large enough to pick. The ones at the top are actually larger than these ones at the bottom. And let's see. If you see, I have the lopers in there, and I'm seeing an ant come, so I'm going to get it and run. Come on, baby. But this is the kind of stuff I do while Paul's out running. I really love playing in the yard. Those are the plantains. This is the plantain forest. Yep, yep, yep. It's a jungle. There's the lopers. There's the fruit. Here's me going down the ladder. Oh, happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. These are actually just over the fence from our yard, but the property belongs to our landlord, so we have permission to eat them anytime we want. So it's gonna be Patacone City for us. Patacones is something that is just a traditional dish and they're incredible. So that's what's happening here. Ciao for now from our plantain plantation. <laughs> Greetings from Panama. It's Ota Nueve here, known in the States as Janine or J9. I'm talking really quietly because it's a really late night cooking endeavor here, but boy am I excited because these are the first patacones from our, these are the first plantains about to be patacones from our plantain tree since we returned to Panama for our move here to establish our second residence. We got here October 31st and we started our new life in Panama November 1st, but today's the first time we had plantains ready to harvest and I actually climbed up the tree, not in my bota, but in a pair of Panamanian botas to get these plantains this morning while Paul was out on a run. And these are patacones. They've been sliced really thick. They've been cooked on the oil until they were soft. They were, oh gosh, about this thick. And then they're just softened up on a low heat and then just simply mushed between paper towels. And I'm about to do the twice fried part of it. But these are gonna be twice fried patacones. Well, now is I'm just putting in to get a nice little golden coating on them. And they are going to be delicious. I'm having them with some roast chicken legs. I'll show you what I've got going on. We almost exclusively cook outdoors here. There's my roast chicken legs. You can just about see them in this late light. I'm going to keep a close watch on them. Now that's what I'm talking about. Outsides are golden. Insides are going to be nice and tender. And these little babies are about to come out. Set out on some paper towels. Oh, chicken's done. Doesn't get much better than this. These are the fresh patacones today's first harvest of plantains from our plantain trees. We have a little plantain tree jungle and this is life Panama style. This is a favorite food in Panama. It's a preferred alternative to french fries or potatoes. They are really super fiber rich, super nutrient rich. Yes, fried food for certain but by God, that one was an escapee, so it had fallen to the side of the stove and it didn't
didn't get cooked quite as much as the rest, but they're all going to be great. I'm going to give them a little bit of salt. And I'm going to say it's time for dinner. All right. Here's what I got. Some roast chicken that I have already started cutting apart. Mm. Some patagones. Some salad with a really nice homemade dressing that's kind of just a, a vinaigrette with yogurt. And this is how I eat them. Mine is really, really a messy endeavor. I've got a patacone with a little chicken and some salad. And this is me. I'm going to have it. Mmm. Mmm. Happy, happy, happy. Holly's making patacones with cheese and <laughs> somehow grating this block of cheese that no longer looks like a block. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Paul doesn't quite understand this, how the to use cheese. Nobody work. cuts what? cheese with a grater, Paul. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just <laughs> cut away from Paul because that's <laughs> embarrassing. Um, this is how normal people eat. <laughs> I love you dearly, sweetie, but honestly. <laughs> There's a Boca Burger under the Patacone. Oh my God. Oh. Okay, this is Paul's. You, you just pushed No, I wanted to show the Boca Burger, for real. Mm. That's good. He, he's eating protein. We okay. love it, we love it, we oh, love this it. Is cheese. This is uh, Okay, this is, honest to God, what I live with. His, Paul. Is this how you grate cheese? Paolo, in a, no, this cheese. is not <laughs> great cheese. This is why I don't touch the hunk of cheese. I get my own cheese separately. Right. I'm signing off now because this started with me climbing a ladder on a nearly healed but still somewhat tender broken foot. And I break all my doctor's orders, but I don't care. These are the best patacones I've ever made. Best ever. Best ever. Woo, woo, woo. I'm so happy. All right. Ciao for now from Panama. Bye. Bye.